Okay, so now I have my plastic bags all cut and ready, and I have my loom here ready to go with the warp, which is the wool. I've turned. If I turn it over, I will show you. I've just pulled the little pieces over like that, and I've just sellotaped each one of them. Okay, that's the back, so don't worry too much about it. Okay, so I have my loom there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my turquoisey colour here. Okay, I'm going to put it under all of the and try to get it upward so it actually has the colour rather than the back. I'm going to go under each one of my cotton pieces there and I'm going to knot it in the middle. Okay, this will keep it in place and it makes sure that it's gone through all of the pieces of cotton. There goes. So you won't be able to pull it really, really tight, you'll be able to pull it quite tight, okay, and then cut that little piece off there. So, you should have one knotted in the middle and a piece of plastic bag hanging off there. So what we're going to try and do, obviously, but, uh, plastic bags aren't double-sided, so the colour is mainly on this side. We want to make sure that the colour we can see. So I'm going to start this one here, going underneath that one, because it's the closest one to me. Okay, so I'm going to try and make sure I have it the colour way around. So I'm going to go under that one first. Okay, can you see? So it's under that one, which means it then needs to go over the other one. That's what a weave is. It's going under and over. Okay, so it's going to go over that one. I'm going to lift up the next piece of wool that I need to go under. And then I'm just going to put it slightly. Okay, so you can see I've then gone under that one, over that piece of string, and under that one. So then we're going to carry on going like this. Don't put it too tight. You can see I've left it quite loose like so, okay, you don't need to pull it, so we're going to go over that one, under that one, okay, try and get in a rhythm of it, so you make sure that you're going over and under, don't worry too much if you miss one, if you miss an under, and you can take it back out and do it, but if you've gone all the way round and you figured out you missed it, don't worry too much, okay, so I'm doing it face down here, so keep it on the table, okay, because it's easier that way, so I'm just going to go round a little bit more, so it loops it back around there. So now I'm finished that colour, I want to use a different colour. So I'm going to get my blue, which is here, okay? And I am going to just cut that a little bit shorter. There we go. And then I'm going to knot these two plastic bags together. So that means, obviously, the line that we're weaving with, or the piece we're weaving with, when it gets to the end of this one, it will then turn into the dark blue colour, because that's what comes next. So I'm just going to knot them two pieces together, okay, it will be quite fiddly, if you need help from the teacher that's totally fine, or if you can ask someone around you if they're knotting it well, they can help you out. So there we go, knotting that, make sure it's nice and tight, and I'm just going to cut these little pieces off to make it a little bit neater. There we go, so you'll see that now my loom piece, so my looms here, okay, this is the piece that we're weaving with, has got a lot longer now. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to where I was. So I've just gone under that one, so I need to go over this one. There we go, and I'm just going to turn it round to make sure the colour's there. And I'm going to continue going. So, and you can change colours as much as you want, okay, but make sure you have to knot it. So there we go. So there's the knot. It's, don't worry too much because when you get further on, like the one I've done here, you can't really see where I've knotted the pieces together, so don't worry about it too much. Make sure it's colour side up, because we don't want the white piece in the back, we want to actually see the colours. And I'm going to carry on going round. So I'm just going to turn that one back round there. There we go. And then I'm going to carry on going over and under. We do have some straws for you that you can cut and make into little beads if you will, um, which I've done on my other one, which I will show you in a sec. So it can get a bit fiddly, but you can see it's starting to make a proper weave. So it's starting to look like the other one that I just showed you, okay? The one that I had done before. So I'm just gonna carry on going around slightly, okay? And then say I wanted to change that to a different color, okay? I would then change that to a different color. So I may change it to my orange or my yellow. When I've completely finished, okay, what you do is you just knot it 
to the end of one of the walls. So if you finish that, if you want to go around the whole entire thing and fill up the whole area, okay, and not leave any gaps, you can do that. But if it takes you quite a while to do it, you might only end up with a piece in the middle, and that's totally fine. So like I said about using straws as beads, okay, I've got um, some straws here in the one that I have finished. So all you would do is on your piece that you have here, you would just pull the plastic back together and thread the straw straw bead onto it, okay? So get on with that, okay? And you should fill up this whole area here with weaving in your different colored of plastic bags.